Here we have two SumLock calculators. These are key-driven adding machines that work exactly the same as the Comptometer. If you can use the Comptometer, you can use these. There's no difference in how they externally function. Internally, they have a very different mechanism, however. These were made in England by the uh, Bell Punch Company Limited. There's a whole list of patents here. They were first made in around 1940 or so. I don't think these uh, wooden legs on this one are standard issue. Those have been uh, homemade, I think. They're quite heavy. The, mechani the mechanism in these is uh, yeah, quite a bit better than the comptometer. If you, uh, if you press a button and slowly release it, you see that the number wheel actually decelerates at the end of the uh, release cycle. It decelerates and even reverses slightly. So it's a sort of a controlled deceleration and that ensures that the number wheel doesn't over, over uh, rotate however hard you uh, release the button. And uh, yeah, it also has this uh, uh, error detection mechanism, the same as the comptometer. If you uh, press a button, but not completely, it doesn't register anything, but it locks up all the other buttons and you then have to complete the key press that you didn't do earlier. So you have to complete it, and now that locks up too, and you can then release the keyboard and continue where you left off. So there's no possibility of doing a partial keystroke and getting yeah, the wrong result in the register. You have to complete the keystrokes, and if you don't, it won't let you continue. Uh, yeah, so this, this one has nine columns in the keyboard, ten digits in the register. This one has uh, twelve columns, thirteen digits. But there were other sizes as well. Bell Punch also released uh, half-sized keyboards with only five uh, keys in each column. Those were called uh, plus adders. In another video I've shown you how to do uh, all kinds of arithmetic on these machines, on the comptometer. So in this video I want to show you some more advanced techniques. Suppose you have some result in the register, the um, end result of a calculation, and you need to multiply this by 15. Um, well, what you could do is write this down, create the register, and then do the multiplication of 15 times that number. But that is, of course, error-prone. You don't really want to clear this. You have this number right here. So what you could do, you already have one time this number here, so all you have to do is add 14 times this number. So instead of multiplying by 15, you add on 14 times that number. So multiplying this by 14, I start on the left and I have to do 14 three times. I don't actually have to remember this number, it's right here. So I can just see, well, there's a three here, so I have to enter 14 three times. Then move on to the next digit, there's a four. The next digit is a nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and another six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've added 14 times that original number, giving the result of 15 times that number. And I didn't even have to remember that number or copy it down at all, I could just read it off as I went along. So that's a very useful technique. Uh, in the other video, I also showed you uh, 
uh, how to do division. And in that division, I used a leading zero in the divisor. But you don't have to do that. So let me show you uh, another division. Let's start with uh, the usual division of 355 divided by 113. You have to repeatedly subtract 113. And to do subtraction, you mentally decrement the number. 113 becomes 112. And you enter that number using these small digits on the keys. So 112. So I subtract 113 from here. So it's subtracted. And the next digit up counts how many times I've subtracted it. The overflow from this uh, complementary subtraction uh, causes this to count up to show how many times I've subtracted. So I'm doing a long division here. I subtract 113 until this is smaller than 113. I've subtracted it three times. Now I move on to the next set. You know, I drop down the next digit to uh, to do the next uh, set of subtractions. So I can only do it once until this is smaller than 113. Now I move to the 470 and I subtract 113 from that. One, two, three times, four times. So now it's become 18 and I shift to 180 and start subtracting. And then to here, 670, one, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, this is now lower than 113, so I have to move on. So now I have 1050 that I have to start subtracting from. But this digit was also used, is also used for counting how many times I've subtracted. So this is now doing double duty. It's not only part of the number I'm uh, subtracting from, it's also where the count of subtractions gets, uh, gets shown. So, yeah, that could be a bit confusing. So what happens is, if I subtract, I've subtracted it once, and it still shows here as a 1. I've subtracted it twice now, and three times. So, yeah, at the, now I've subtracted it uh, two or three times, it actually shows the correct number. So uh, I know that there's no uh, part of uh, this that is still belonging to the number that I'm subtracting from. So I can just, uh, as soon as, yeah, when you, when you repeatedly subtract, you count along. And as soon as this number actually shows the number of subtractions correctly, then you know that you're right, that you can then just look at these three digits instead. So one more time. So it's 33. Move on to 330. One, two, and that's it. So the result of the division is 3.141592 with a remainder of 104. In that other video, I showed you uh, how to do that but I used yeah an extra zero in front of the divisor, so uh, yeah I would have done zero one one two each time, so pressing four buttons. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's a bit easier mentally because you can never be in that situation where you have this uh, yeah this double duty digit, but it wastes one. Uh, yeah, one digit in the register. You have a larger divisor, so you'll have a larger part of the register that's left up as the remainder. Now, if you have a register that's, uh, yeah, as long as this, 13 digits long, yeah, maybe you can do that. But on a smaller machine with fewer digits, you want to keep the full, yeah, yeah, the f have full use of all the digits. So that's when you don't want to use one of those leading zeros. So that was the uh, sum lock calculator by Pell Punch. Thank you for watching.